Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today is day two of paleo. I'm not eating anything, which I really should have eaten something. It's like one o'clock almost. Um, the issue with being paleo is like, I can't just be like, oh, I haven't eaten anything. Like I'm gonna just grab this like nature bar or whatever because like that's not paleo. So the best thing to do for paleo is to meal prep and I didn't do that on Sunday and I didn't do it yesterday. So today I was going to do a recipe. This recipe is from Skinny Taste. It looks really effing good. It's called Chicken Ropa Vieja. It looks like this. So yummy, so good. So I was gonna cook that in the slow cooker. I think it's like, yeah, I don't know. My slow cooker cooks very quickly, so it's okay that I didn't start it really early in the morning. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to kind of get you guys through that, and then we will see. Oh yeah, it says cook on high for four hours. That's perfect. Um, so I'm just going to sort of go through this recipe, and then I was going to make a paleo pie today. I really wanted to kind of get my meals out of the way. I need to clean this apartment and stuff like that, but I'm kind of going insane. I've literally been cleaning for weeks and I just need to do something else. So we're gonna do that Lego. So the recipe calls, I wish this thing would focus better. I don't know how to make it like. Okay, so for the slow cooker, oh, of course, it's not gonna focus. Uh, three skinless, boneless chicken breast, small onion, tomato, carrot, garlic, bay leaves, kosher, salt. Um, and this is the stuff that you need to finish it. So let's read what it says. Place chicken, onion, tomato, carrot, and two cloves of garlic into the slow cooker. Add just enough water to cover. Add bay leaves and salt and cook on high for four hours until the chicken is tender. Um, and then this is the stuff that you do after. So, I mean, it kind of honestly just looks like shredded chicken. Um, like it shows them putting it on, I think this is what it is, on like a salad with like beans and corn, but with paleo, you can't have, oh my gosh, how do I zoom this out? With paleo, you can't have legumes. So we could put it on a salad with like vinaigrette or something. You could eat it plain. Um, I got some cauliflower rice. Um, so you could eat it with like rice or something or just veggies. I'm not really sure. I think it looks good as is. So. Okay, so I have out my crock pot. Excuse the, uh, what are these? <laughs> Hot dogs. I'm gonna heat them up. That's gonna be my lunch. I know, it's so basic of me, but I'm really hungry and I need to eat something and I don't wanna like take a ton of time cooking a huge meal. So I put in my three frozen chicken breasts. Uh, yeah, they're frozen, so they're gonna cook a little bit longer, but Honestly, it doesn't matter if they're frozen or whatever. It's just, they're going to, it's gonna take a little bit longer when they're frozen. And it's so much chicken, chicken, so much cheaper just to buy chicken in a bag, you know what I mean? Or frozen veggies. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, whatever. Okay, so I decided against the diced tomatoes just because they have green chilies in them. Um, and so, yeah, I just thought I would do some these guys, little cherry tomatoes. Honestly, like you can't even tell. Also, I'm snacking on some olives and some like okra and stuff. Basically, to like get your fats in for the day, this is an easy way to do it. Eat some olives, eat some things like that. I love these pickled okras. Um, so good. Um, yeah, um. I love olives. I love them. Um, so I'm gonna cut this up, maybe like half of it, because it said a small onion, and this guy is pretty huge. I'm gonna cut some of these guys up, fill this up with water, and put two garlic cloves in. So I'll be back 
after I get to chopping. Cool. Okay, so I've chopped my onion. I put in my little tomatoes. And the it just said quartered. So I just kind of <laughs> cut them in half. Um, I think this is essentially just for flavoring. And then I'm going to cut this guy. Okay, first of all, look at this knife. Amazing. These are so effing expensive. But my husband really wanted them and asked for them for Christmas. So, yeah. Um, they're insane. They literally... So, these knives are different because, oops, most knives, um are sharpened to like a 90 degree angle or something like that or 60 degree but this is actually at 45 which means that like I don't know it chops basically you have to be really careful with these because it'll chop your finger off uh <laughs> so I'm gonna chop this carrot up and I'll be back okay I cut up my carrot and put it in the crock pot and now you need two cloves of garlic and, oh, I hate taking out cloves of garlic. I'm gonna show you like the easiest way um, to, I know it says not smash garlic, but this is the easiest way to take the skin off. So, first I'm gonna pull off, there we go, my two cloves of garlic, just like this, and they have all the skin on them. Then I'm going to take a large knife, not this one, because this will like, this is too small, and it will like chop my finger off. So I'm gonna, whoa! that up later. I'm going to take this and if you ever have to smash garlic or like scrape it, this is the way you like smash it initially. Then you put salt in it and it essentially helps break the garlic down. So, ew. Also, this one looks disgusting. Okay, haha. My nice Karen died. I need to find the charger. But back, let me see if I can set this guy up. So back to what I was saying about the garlic. I got two, got a better looking guy. Two of these, hopefully I recorded it. But I'm basically showing you guys um, an easy way to get the skin off garlic. So you're gonna take a knife like this, like a big old chef's knife. You're gonna stick the base of it and you're gonna put this little guy underneath. And then what you're gonna do is with the heel of your hand, you're going to smash it. So then your garlic looks like that. And it's easy to take the skin off. It's smashed a little bit. Um, so yeah, just, there we go. Skin is off. And then I'm going to put these in my little crock pot. So I have my bay leaves. I got my water to keep the chicken moist. Um, I got my garlic, all that good stuff. And I put salt in there as well. And now I put it on low because I want it to cook for a little bit longer than four hours. Um, so I put it on low and it's cooking and I'll be back in like five hours, six hours, whatever. Um, but for the time being, I just wanted to give you guys a little, like if you wanted snacks and stuff like that. Um, one of the hardest things for me is the fact that you can't have hummus because hummus is not paleo because it has chickpeas and chickpeas are not paleo. Um, but, and you can't have like chips, but if you want a little snack, plantain chips are the way to go. They are paleo. Um, they taste really good. You can get them at Whole Foods is really the only place I've ever been able to find them. They're expensive. So it's one of those things where if you're like, if you're really in the mood to snack, like that's what you can snack on, but it's kind of good that they're expensive because then you can't be like eating a bag of plantain chips every single day because that's not good for you. Um, I also like eating it with like either homemade salsa or like store-bought salsa, whatever, just to make sure that it has all the paleo ingredients in there and stuff like that. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is a pie. Um, I love this pie. This pie is so good. Um, yeah, so what you're going to need is a spring form. Um, I don't have the bottom to this. The bottom is on the floor. I need to clean it. You need some coconut cream. I got mine from Trader Joe's. Um, I used to buy mine on Amazon for like $13 a can until I found out you could get them for like $3 at Trader Joe's. Um, you need dark chocolate. You need walnuts. You need medjool dates, which this is what medjool dates look like. This is from Vaughn's. Um, 
which at first I was like, what is a medjool date? How am I ever going to find that? They're actually pretty easy to find. They're in like where the nuts are and the like dried fruit and stuff. Um, you need that and you need walnuts. And medjool dates are a natural sweetener. Okay, so back to our now pie. So what you will need is a cup of walnuts. So I've already measured out a cup. And I'm just going to put it in my food processor. I've done this with a blender before, so it works. Basically, just anything that's like, you know, you know, will blend stuff. Um, you need pitted medjool dates. So, it says a fourth of a cup or about four of these little dates. So, I'm just going to do like four and take the pits out of all of them. Um, you can... Like, for instance, if this is not sticking together once you blend it, then put in another date. And the date kind of has this sticky texture to it, um, which will help all of it stick together. Because this is your crust. Um, so you want it to all kind of stick together to hold the pie together, stuff like that. I think last time I had to end up adding more dates. Um, but we will see. C. Um, and then it said a teaspoon of cinnamon. So I've measured out a teaspoon and we're just going to put that in there for some flavor. And now I'm going to put this guy on and we're essentially just going to like pulse it until it is all blended and looks pretty. So it's going to be really loud. Okay. So it looks about right. I added a little bit of salt. Um, just to give it some more flavor, add salt to anything, automatically boost up the flavor. So, what I'm going to do, if I can, is take this off. What I'm going to do is basically just like put it in, oh my gosh, good job Shelby. Put it in a thing like this, and we're essentially going to press this. And this is going to be our crust. Okay guys, so I have, I laid out my little uh, crust. And then in here, this is the filling. So I bought, again, this coconut, Trader Joe's coconut cream. Um, so I scooped out one cup and I heated it up and put it in there. Um, I took coconut oil this guy I took some coconut oil and I heated up um, a fourth of a cup and put it in here I put about eight of these medjool dates this is gonna be kind of like what gives it that sweetness I heated up three ounces of dark chocolate and then um, which I think was I would say about like a fourth of a cup of uh, dark chocolate and then I added in two teaspoons of pure vanilla extract and yeah I think that is it and it has to be dark chocolate because dark chocolate is paleo so we are going to mix this all together okay I need to hold on to this one okay I will be right back <laughs> Okay, so we mixed it all together, and this is what the filling looks like. Um, and it tastes, mm, it tastes really good. Um, and so we're gonna put this in here. Hopefully, we have enough. If not, we're essentially just going to have to measure stuff out. Basically, this pie is going to be put in the refrigerator. Okay, guys. So it is now almost dinner time. This guy has been um, just a cooking away. It smells really, really good. I'm gonna take the chicken out in a minute and shred it. Um, but for now, I started on like the final step. So um, right now in a pan, I have, let me get a spoon. I have heating up some oil. Um, I didn't have any olive oil, so I made vegetable oil. Um, but olive oil would probably be better, but, um, right now I have two cloves of garlic. Um, it calls for a green bell pepper and a red bell pepper, but honestly, 
they taste exactly the same and they're the same and I had two red ones so that I needed to like cook up and they were kind of going old and so I needed to use them so that is what I did and then um yeah I just have some onions and I cut it all long ways um yeah and then after this I'm going to put like chicken broth and a bunch of spices and stuff also I have riced cauliflower since um with paleo you can't eat normal rice so I'm going to pick up the rice cauliflower I'm going to put some lime juice in it and some cilantro make some to like cilantro lime rice and then it suggested doing the rice cauliflower um I may cut up some iceberg lettuce and then eating it with plantain chips so I thought that was a really good idea and I have all of that okay this has all been cooking up I've had to turn it down because I had to get all my stuff together so it's a little uh overdone but that's okay everything's really soft that's good um so now I'm turning up the heat and what you'll notice about the skinny taste girl is she always uses chicken broth tomato sauce um so those are the things that I just always have on hand when I'm doing her stuff so I'm going to pour in a half a cup it's a little bit over but whatever half a cup of tomato sauce this is going to give it a really nice flavor um I have my shredded chicken so I'm going to add this into the mix and it suggested using white wine but obviously for paleo people like you cannot have alcohol um in your dish and so i'm just going to use the chicken broth it suggested using the broth from the chicken that you cooked but because it was frozen i just i knew it wasn't going to be as flavorful so i'm just going to use chicken broth it is a teaspoon of ground cumin